What's going on guys? Today I wanted to teach you guys how to draw Miles Morales from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man in Beyond the Spider-Verse, the one coming up. Super exciting, I love this movie, but let's draw Miles Morales, let's get into it. So to draw Miles Morales today, what you'll need today is um, either a pencil, just normal pencil, or you could take a color pencil or like a different color graphite and just draw the sketch with that. Um, I'm going to be coloring it today, so I'm just going to be like drawing it with a colored pencil first and then going to be coloring it, but you could do it with a normal pencil and just finish it with the sketch. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so let's first start off with the basic shapes for Miles Morales. So we're first going to start off with um, an oval kind of shape in the center of the drawing right here. This is going to be his head. Okay, something like that. Okay, next, let's make a straight line going straight through vertically. Okay, next, we're gonna do another line more towards the bottom here. That's gonna be where his eyes are gonna meet on the bottom. Okay, next, we're gonna do another line. This is gonna be where his top of his eyes are gonna be. And this is gonna be towards more right up here. This is where his eyes are gonna be. Okay, and next, we're gonna do his, um, this is, he's gonna be wearing his hoodie in this one. So we're gonna be doing two, actually let's make this an oval. So basically just make this an oval or a circle just right here. This is where it's, his uh, hoodie's gonna be right here. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna do um, his torso. And so basically his torso is gonna be from where this line did for his top of his eye. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a box just like this. Looks kinda, kinda weird at the moment, but it's gonna make sense later on. Um, it's gonna go right about to here. It'll kinda make a lot more sense. Um, okay, next, we're gonna do a, um, a line going from here to here. This is where his hands are gonna be. Basically, just like a cylinder. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then for now, we're just gonna do a square right here on the side, and you're gonna do a triangle right here for his hands. Okay, awesome. Next, same thing basically, just do another curved line going out, and his other hand going back, he's swinging in the air. This one's gonna go to here. Okay, and this one is gonna stop and curve in like that, and then he's gonna have another square Basically, it could be a triangle. We'll do a triangle on that one. And then we'll do another triangle for his thumb, just like that. Okay, next, we're gonna do um, a line going from here to here. And we're gonna bring this down to another line coming out all the way over here. Okay, same thing down here. This one's just gonna be going straight down. Just like that, okay. Next, we're just gonna bring this square line. The square line we did, we're just gonna bring this out just a tad bit, right to here. And we're just gonna meet these guys right here. Okay. And same thing here, just do another line and then meet it there, something like that. There's a lot more details to it, but we're just doing basic shapes. Um, next, we're just gonna do his torso in here. Just do a nice curve right into there. Nice curve right into there. Once we have this, we are going to then do a line. This is the back of his hoodie. Just doing a line just like this. Another line just like this. Okay. And next, we're gonna do his knee. His knee, we're just gonna do one circle right about to here. And we're gonna do another oval coming in right about to here that connects this circle. And we're gonna do a line curve almost. So you're coming in right out to here and another curve that's just gonna swoop right into there. Oh sorry you guys couldn't see that. <laughs> swoop it right into there and this curve right into there. And then next from this curve we our circle we did just bring this to right about to there. Okay and you're gonna do another circle right about to here 
and you're gonna bring it down all the way. It's right about to there. Okay. Next, let's just do his um, his knee here. His knee. Okay. We're first, gonna do a circle right about here. It's gonna be two lines coming out of this box we did. Okay. Once you have that circle, just bring it down to right about to a curve, right about to there. Sorry, you guys still can't see that. <laughs> okay, and then this one's gonna go down, stop, another curve, just like that. Okay, now for his shoes, let's get to his shoes. His shoes are basically gonna be more simplified than they're gonna be in the picture. So this is just gonna be basically almost like a box, almost, but we're just gonna do this for his shoes for now. They're kind of big, I need to make them a little smaller but something like this. And for his other shoe, kind of the same thing here. This one's a little more smaller because it's in the background, more in the back. Um, uh, but yeah, that's the shoes and uh, that's basically the outline of Spider-Man. There's one more line we could do right here. This line, just make a line going straight to here. Another line going straight to there. All right. All right, now let's get to the details of the drawing. Okay, I'm still gonna be using this red pencil, but you can go into the, this is where you go into the regular pencil to darken out um, all the details. And so I'm just gonna fix up something I did real quick. I just want you guys to make sure, emphasize on his head. His head's supposed to be a little bigger. So let's just get in here, make his head a little more vertically like this a little more wider um, and bring this line down to here okay looks like we have three lines that's the center of his head this is the bottom of his eyes and that's the top of his eye okay let's bring it down right about to there okay sorry if that made it confusing but let's get right into it okay so now for his eyes probably the most iconic thing about his mask that you're gonna start off with um, an oval. This is gonna be like a sideways oval. His eyes don't meet in the middle necessarily. They're very closely gonna meet in the middle, but you just wanna do this oval where it touches that top line and this bottom line, just like this. Another one on the other side. And the side of his head uh, is gonna to touch these circles too, or these ovals, you could say. Okay, now I'm just gonna darken them out real quick. This is just gonna come up like this. Bring this up, and you're gonna bring this down on the side of his head. See, it just stays along that side of the head curve, and it just comes in here, and this is just gonna go straight up into here, just like so. And same thing on the other side. Do that curve, coming up to about there. And then there's this little swoop on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but there is that swoop. Bring this curve down. Okay, and then you bring this up like we did on the other side as well. Okay, nice Spider-Man eyes. All right, next, inside of his eyes, you're just gonna emphasize and just do another outlining line that goes along um, the lines we did um, outlining his eyes. Okay, on the sides here, it gets a little thinner, so you don't have to worry too much on that, but when it gets more closer to his head, just draw in those lines just like that on the other side but they're not too thick you don't want to make the outline too too thick because spider-man's eyes don't really have that too thick <laughs> of like a border of, a, of his eye if you know what I mean um, something like that for the eyes okay now for his head shape let's just get that down and so we're just gonna follow this um, shape we did here bring this up to here following this and then going down. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my other video when I was first starting to do this channel. I did how to draw Spider-Man. Um, you guys could check out check that out too. That was for Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, but honestly, these animated movies for Miles, for Miles Morales is just amazing. They're beautiful. Um, but I encourage you guys, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it while you can. Um, but just awesome. I don't know if it's better than the first one, but it's hard to decipher. <laughs> I gotta say that, but 
either way. Uh, but yeah, basically that's it. Um, you can't really see his stripes on his mask because it's uh, more of a darker mask, so you can't see it, so I wouldn't worry too much on it. So I think this is perfectly fine for the head. So let's move on to the body. All right, now for the body. Let's start off with his hoodie here. So his hoodie starts off with this oval that we did outside of his head. You're just gonna go out and bring it in, just like a basic, just curve going into here. And you're just gonna bring it to right about to there. Somewhat like that. Okay, same thing on the other side too. Curve that into there, right about where that, imagine you did a visible line just going and it meets right there. So kind of like in the same area where that would meet. Okay, nice. So when he has a series of lines, just do like a single line just going right here to do the folds and stuff. Um, another line right here. Okay, and then another line over here. Okay, nice. Now, let's move on to his arms. Okay, his arms, they're gonna meet right where this hoodie was. Um, and we're just gonna start off with following this curve we did. And it's a series, it's not like a curve, just straight curve line. There's a couple of bumps because there's texture on his jacket. But this is just gonna go right about to here with this just curve. So you can just make it a curve if you want, but I'm gonna make it a little more textured. Um, bring a line right there. And then from here, just bring in this line coming down. It's gonna stop right about to there. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit, so imagine I did that. Um, bring this and follow the angle of this one and just bring it to the torso. Just like so. And stop where we did the box. Next, just bring in this box curve we did. And we're just gonna bring this all the way down to here for now. Okay, now let's go to the other side. From here, we're actually gonna do a curve and stopping right about to here. I'm gonna stop it and then we're gonna bring it up again. And this has a little more texture on this side of the, the arm. But this, you have this bump and this comes down straight into his hands all the way to here. Okay, and then you're gonna do his sleeves. And then you're just gonna bring this, not all the way to the box curve. We're gonna stop it right about to there. And from this curve like we did to here, you're gonna do another curve. It's gonna go into there, right about to there, if that makes sense. Okay, and then from here, we have another curve that goes just straight up to there and that meets right into there, okay? If that makes sense, I may shorten this because I think I made it a little bigger than it's supposed to. Um, no worries to erase. Okay, next, um, let's work on his hands here. So his hands, um, we did these boxes in us triangles. We're just gonna follow that here. So from where the triangle and the, uh, sorry my voice, where the triangle and the square meets, just gonna do this curve going out and his finger is gonna go right about to there. His hands are kind of distant so you don't have to worry too much about his hands. Another finger there and then another finger going right about to there. And like bring this curve in. Nice thumb like that. Okay. Okay, next, this next hand right here. Do this curve right where this triangle is that we did. And we're gonna bring this down and up. Okay, and this finger is gonna go right out to there. Just points right out. Okay, and next. Do his other pointer finger, or his uh, middle finger, and then his ring finger in the background. You can barely see it, but somewhat like this. Okay, all right. 
nice. That's the basic uh, of the top so far. Um, there is a series of folds on his clothes. You can do those if you want. You can just do a line going like this. And you can do another line going like this. Another line like this. Um, there's just a series of folds that are more noticeable when you color it and when you shade it. So I wouldn't worry too much if you're just doing an outline drawing. Um, you know, just it's just the emphasis of the folds on this jacket and the texture. Just do a couple of series of lines just like that. But I'm going to color it and show you how it looks at the end. Um, yeah. Um, next, we're going to continue on his jacket and care from his hoodie and this line that we did that went straight down to here. We're gonna bring a curve. We're gonna make this curve go out. Following this movement, make this go out, and it's gonna go right all the way about to the length of his hand coming out here. So it's really stretched out here. So this is gonna go all the way to there. Okay, next. Follow uh, that same curve, and we're gonna go up from here, and we're gonna bring this down a little bit, and we're gonna meet it to this curve right about to there. Okay. Next, let's move on to the other side of the jacket, and that is gonna start off right where this line was, like we did, and we're just gonna simply gonna curve it in, and we're just gonna kind of curve it a wavy, wavier line. Over here, he's flying through the wind, so it's gonna have that kind of wind effect. <laughs> um, and then this is just gonna get connected to this box curve that we did by just simply doing this. Okay. Next, start from here. This is gonna be the other jacket he has on. We're gonna do another curve going from here. We're gonna stop and do a little that's where his zipper is going to be, and then this is just going to curve all the way down to here. It's going to stop right about to there. Okay, and we're going to do the top part of it. Just do another um, thing, and it's going to hide into his jacket right about up to there. Okay. Next, just do the bottom of his sweatshirt that he does right here and just do a curve and it's gonna stop right where his knee is gonna be, okay? Next, let's do the same thing on the other side. Just do another curve just going down to here. This is a little easier. Just bring it down like that, okay? And then this is just gonna curve right to there. It's gonna stop and it's gonna go straight up. It's gonna curve right into there. Okay, and for his jacket here, the first jacket we did, do a curve, because this is gonna be the back of his jacket. We didn't draw this yet, but this is just gonna do the back of it, just like that. Um, there you go, and so, yeah. Okay, next um, is, he has a couple straps coming out of his jacket here. Um, what you're gonna do here is just gonna go like this, and then another line, and go something like that. They're flying in the wind, so it doesn't really matter how you do it because they're, they could go any direction. Okay, something like that. Um, next, we're gonna do, um, he has a little patch here, actually. Let's do this patch. Um, just do a box like this. And that's just gonna meet up to there. Um, I don't know what it says on it. There's just a little circle on it, and there's a little line in there. It kind of looks like like um, like Neptune a little bit. I don't know, maybe. Um, once we have that, there is a series of zippers. Um, you can do that if you want. All you can do, really do is just you can go in here, do these lines that will emphasize that. Um, I'll just do that real quick for you guys. Okay, and then there is another zipper on his other jacket too, so you can do that too. It makes it more detailed here. And then for the other side as well. <laughs> 
carrying. He has a little zipper, um, the thing that you actually zip with at the end of it, his sweatshirt, so you can just do that, like that. Um, but yeah. Almost dumped the zippers here. Yeah, nice. All right, now, for his torso, um, we're gonna start off with just this curved line we did right here. We're just gonna bring this down simply, just like that. Nothing much to it. I'm actually gonna curve it a little more there, erase it. Um, but yeah, this is where his his body is. And the other side too here, um, curve it right about to there. Okay, all right, nice. Now for the Spider-Man logo, you gotta think of this as a 3D dimensional um, object because it is, because he is um, 3D. Um, so you're gonna do an oval here and a line coming down to here to emphasize another line too, like two circles. It's kind of confusing, you don't have to do this. This is gonna help me draw it. Um, so we're just gonna do a circle. This is where his logo is gonna be, um, Spider-Man logo, and this is Start off somewhat like this because his body's kind of turned, so you want to do this, okay? Do another circle that goes inside of it, okay? Now I'm gonna make this a little simple. I'm just gonna do a circle in here, this is where the spider is, okay? And you're gonna do the legs. He grew, he like spray painted this on his. Uh, his uh, jacket, so it looks a little like that style. So you can't really achieve that with the pencil too, um, too much. You have to like more, put more time into it. So don't worry about making it exactly like it. Um, but we're just trying to emphasize this spider. Okay, and then there's another leg going up here, and one in the middle right here. So if that's hard to see, I'm gonna darken it out and do that for you guys. Make sure to subscribe and like if you like what I'm, if you what, like what you see, and uh, I really appreciate your support whenever you do that. Um, but please comment what you'd like to see next. Um, I would love to do whatever you guys would want me to do and what you guys are interested in drawing, because I want to get you guys better at drawing things that think the things you like. You know, I like drawing things I like. I don't I don't like to do just things I don't like to draw. That makes me not want to do it. I want to do things that would like encourage me to keep on moving forward. So I would be, I would love to do that for you guys. So please let me know what you'd like to see. Um, I appreciate all your support. Okay, I'm gonna do that for the logo for now. Um, it's kind of messy, but it kind of gets the uh, idea across. Um, and there's one more line on his suit here. It's the sides. He has this little red stripe. Just do something like that for now. Um, but yeah, basically it for his torso, but let's move on to his leg. All right, now for his jacket here. This, there's a line right about to there in the back, and between his knee and his torso, there's another line right here. Now, let's move on to um, his pants. He actually wears shorts under his suit. <clears throat> so for that, for his belt, just going to do a curve coming into here and just connecting it right about to there. Yeah, and then for his belt, simply, there's just a series of like squares, to, like his, um, the belt loop and all that. So you can just do a couple just squares here, just to do that. And this kind of hides in there, so it kind of curves out in there because his shorts. Uh, but nice. Now, um, we're going to go into his pants, or his shorts. Okay, so if the square we did right here. We're gonna follow that, bring this down. I'm gonna go right about to there. I'm gonna stop a little short from what I did it. And I'm gonna bring this all the way to right about, oh, sorry, you guys almost can't see that. Um, I'm gonna bring this all the way right about to there. Bring this up like we did here. Stopping right about 
there. And then we're gonna go into the other side and this is just gonna stop right about to there. Okay. And he has a little line for his, uh, the top of his shorts there. And now for this other uh, sleeve of the short, just go up here. There's a curve basically. And then this, just curve it in like that. Okay. Now, let's go on to his legs, because that's basically it for the shorts. You can't really see much because it's kind of dark in here. So, yeah. Now for his legs, basically, from this curve we did just now, let's move another curve in there for his knee, his kneecap. Bring it right about to there. And then you're gonna do another curve. And you're gonna do this curve all the way down to his leg, right about to there. Gonna bring a little short, because it kind of stops somewhat there. Um, next, he has his other curve, or his other side of his foot, and this is gonna go right about to there. Okay. Now for his other foot here, or his leg, um, this is gonna go from his short uh, pant leg and then come out right about to there. Curve it from there. Okay, I'm gonna do this one up here. Just bring a line down, and we're just gonna curve it to there. Do a line, and from here, bring this curve in like that. And then we're gonna leave it like that because we have to go to the shoe um, in just a second. That's basically it for that leg and the legs, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna go on to the shoes now, which are a little complex, but it's gonna be all right. Okay, now for shoes. Let's start off on this one right here, okay? For shoes here, um, I'm gonna redraw this because it kind of reshaped where my legs were gonna be. Um, but it's just this basic square here we have for the shoes because these are um, Air Jordans he wears, which are pretty cool. Bring this line coming out right about there. I don't wanna make his shoes too big. Next, just bring a line coming down right about to there. Curving it up and stopping right about to there, I think. I'm really bad at drawing shoes. I need to practice it more, but bear with me. <laughs> uh, and then curve this in right about to there. And that's basic outline of, of that. And now here, do a line that comes down from here into there. Gonna stop right about to here. Now we're gonna do the little um, thing on top of your shoelace thing, <laughs> and this is gonna come down right about to there. Um, bring another line to there, and there's a series of crisscross of the shoelaces. I'm not gonna focus too much on that, but you get the emphasis on that. Um, and then there is uh, a line that goes from here and then from here and another line here. The Nike symbol is somewhat right here. You can barely see it on this angle, but it's somewhat right there. Okay, and now there's a line coming from there. Coming up from there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a line right there. There's a series of dots right here, so you can do that if you want. Um, once you have that, there is his bottom of his shoe. You can't really see it too much, but um, that's basically it for that shoe. I tried my best on that one, so bear with me there. <laughs> Next one, this one's more distance, so you can't really see too much. So this one's just going to be more. Bring it down a little bit. A line coming up from there. Okay, and next, 
there's a curve that comes into here and it comes to the other side of the shoe and it's gonna go all the way to here. Okay, and then we're gonna do this curve right there. Do a series of lines right here. Shoelace comes in right here. Bring this curve in. Somewhat like that. And the Nike symbol comes in right about to here. Um, but yeah. I think that's pretty decent for that, I could say. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Um, on his hands here, uh, add in, there's like, uh, his fingers are red, but his hands, or the, his palm is uh, blue, so you can, or black, so you can just do that real quick. Um, but yeah. That is the drawing for it. Now you guys, can, like I said, you guys can uh, color it with me at the end. Um, or you can just leave like this, but yeah, I'm gonna color it and uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, I finished coloring it. Um, and so this is what I did for my coloring. You guys can copy whatever you want with it. I had lots of fun coloring it. Uh, but yeah, the last thing you gotta do is sign it. It's always very important to sign it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and comment what you'd like to see next. Um, and please subscribe too. Um, it really was help and support me. Um, but I really hope to see you guys next time and I appreciate you guys sticking around with me today. Um, God bless you guys.